All right, boys. Y'all ready to work? Hi. My name's Gary. Um, this is a video that we're going to be adding to YouTube, obviously, if you're watching it. It's already there. Um, let me take a second and introduce, excuse me, <coughs> my two boys. Uh, Rex is a an eight-year-old. Yes, my little. Look at him. Trying to steal the scene already. This is uh, Rex. Again, this is Rex. <laughs> uh, he is an eight-year-old Maine Coon. Long hair. Um, I got him when he was about eight weeks old. Um, he's been in relatively good health. He has a fur ball problem, as with most long haired cats. Um, this is my love. This is my boy. Um, I've spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort in taking care of my love. Here, let me get your attention back there. Like, um, and to taking good care of these guys. Um, it's very important um, as a cat lover, as, in, as a pet owner in general, that your animals, your pets, if you love them that much to, to adopt them, you need to be able to, for, the, for their entire lives, care for them. And in the same way you would your own child. It's very important. Um, there's a lot of people out there that just, just get a pet to just put them in the backyard or to keep them outside. You don't do that. Sit up, Rex. Sit up. Um, I have a problem with that. Um, I live in, a, in an area right now where I see a lot of pets every day because of where I live. Um, and it's not by choice, it's just because that's how my life is going right at this point. But do I, but do I drop everything and say, okay, I'm not going to take care of my pets? No, I don't. And, and that really hurts my hurts me, personally. So, I wanted to take a minute and uh, um, introduce uh, these guys, and uh, hopefully I'm done. So, again, this is this is my love. My love. Turn around for the camera. Look at the camera, see? Look over there. Good boy. Drop your attention? No? I dropped one, didn't I? Um, yes, I went to Texas Tech, and I am a big fan. What's that about? Um, Milo, again, is a five-year-old tabby cat slash calico. Uh, very talented. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, then you should go and see some of the other videos. This, this cat, so smart, so talented in everything that he's been doing or that I've taught him. First trick I ever taught him was how to retrieve an item. I, and I started doing that when he was like just a baby. I mean, and he learned it and learned it and learned it. And you know, the more repetitive you are with these these uh, tricks that you're trying to teach them, the faster they will learn. The second trick I ever taught him was how to catch a tree in his mouth, like you know, similar to a dog, where you just throw it and they catch it. This cat, smart. This one, he just kind of expects the food. So I just lay it on the chair because I don't want to get snapped, you know, okay. fingers bit. I already had my finger bit several times. Mm -hmm. See, my own. Mm -hmm. He's wanting to learn. Mm -hmm. Hey, my love, you ready to learn? You ready? All right, put your, put your foot down. Put your paw down. Put your paw down. Good. You ready to learn? Okay, I want you to catch it in your mouth. You ready? Ah, uh, we'll get it. By the way, anything that hits the ground stays on the ground. They'll clean it up afterwards. So, I don't have to pick it up. There. I think he does that on purpose because he knows the more he drops on the ground, the more he gets at the end. Good boy. I was wondering if you were ever going to catch one. 
And and I'm serious, he really does. Catch him in his mouth. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it took me over a year to teach him how to do that. So, here. Good. Set it breaks. For the camera. Shut up. Okay, ready? Ah. See, that time he used his paw. Try to use his paw. And that's another trick I'll be teaching him. That's a trick that we do at floor level because it's called, I, I call it paw, paw hockey. Kind of like hockey with a stick. Ready?
Good boy. That's my boy. Well, everyone, that's Milo and Rex. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, they're very talented, so look up their uh, videos on YouTube. And uh, if you've got an idea, a suggestion, or a trick that you want me to try, please go ahead and forward it to me.